Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate, Siege of Dragonspear. All right, we uh, we have taken back Bridgefort and uh, successfully saved uh, Khalid's life. Um, I don't know if this is like supposed to be where he died. I don't think so. I mean, I played the like the very beginning of Baldur's Gate two to, you know, mess around with the converter and you know the importer and everything like that. I could swear that, uh, um, oh, yeah, spoilers, uh, in between Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, Khalid dies, sorry. Um, and I could swear that, uh, Jahara acts like that is just a brand new thing. And I, because I don't, yeah, I, I, so I think, I think that's the case. Um, I don't think he's, like, quote-unquote canonically supposed to die here. It's just difficult to keep him alive. Anyway, uh, we want to go ahead and head in, see if we can get uh, our boots. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I know, game. I know. Certainly. All right, let's pop on down here. Ho, Trandy Monk. Uh, I wanted to see how my boots were coming. Said it take a day. It's been a day. Here's your boots. Okay. Boots of speed. It just doubles movement rate. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. What do I have? Magic resistance plus 7%. Electrical resistance. What were those again? Oh yeah, plus five versus missiles. And of course you've got the paws of the cheetah, which are, you know, boots of speed. And armor class plus five versus missiles. Um... I mean, magic resistance is pretty nice, but... Do I care about just doubling the movement rate? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll stick with that. I mean, I got the boots. That's the important thing. Alright, let's talk to you. Hey there, heard you saved us all from certain death. Suppose I'm obliged to you for that. Is there anything I can do for you? Weapons you need? Armor? Would you be able to make McKean a set of armor? I'm having trouble finding a suit that fits her. Oh? I'll get right on it. Many thanks, Mrs. Hillcarver. I'll take my leave now. Now give me a few hours. I'll have something for you then. Okay, I was not expecting that. I don't know, I think most dwarven and halfling and gnomish stuff would probably uh, fit the goblin. Yes, yes, yes. The goblin's armor is complete. Here, see for yourself. Now, if you excuse me, this whole mess has put me way behind the schedule. Take care and remember what I said. You need anything, you come to me. Okay, Jeg's Leathers plus two. A uh, set of armor specially made for the Goblin McKean by the Dwarven Smith Jeg Hillcarver. This leather armor has been significantly modified so that it can be worn by its intended user. A valuable item indeed, at least to a Goblin. For, uh, for others, it functions as little more than dead weight. Plus 20% fire resistance, plus 20% cold resistance. Uh, class 5, 3 versus slashing, 4 versus piercing and missile. Alright. Probably not going to use McKean, but I will take it. I'd like to see your wares. Okay, stuff to sell. Can't sell you the dead body. Sad. Uh, let's see, halberd plus one, cloak of protection plus one, braces of defense armor class six. I guess I'll hold on to the staff spear. 
Sell all of those. Sell the Traveler's Robe. I'll hold on to the uh, the Chill Axe. I don't need those two. Sell that. I'll sell that. I'll sell that. Can't sell Karim's badge. I imagine that if you killed him back in the uh, uh, in the temple, you could bring this back and get in that way or something like that. I can sell Imori's head. Well, it's tempting. I can sell the Circle of Lost Souls. I'll keep it for now. I'll sell that now. I'll keep the Heavy Crossbow. Don't need two sets of full plate armor. Sell one of those. Anything else that I picked up? I, mean, I could sell all these books, but I don't know if uh, they may end up being useful in some regard. Okay. Yeah, I'll sell all that. Uh, so we could get Ritz Last Arrow. I get the Flail plus two. Let's go ahead and do that. Although maybe I should have gotten the mace plus two for him since he's got proficiency in that. Uh, which I don't remember giving him that, but whatever. Yeah, I probably should. That was a little bit of a waste then. But yeah, whatever. Now nah, I'll just keep it. It's plus two. Could be useful. Oh, this is plus two. That's right. Well, you've got skill with that. Yeah, mace. So, we'll stick with that. On the off chance that we encounter a whole bunch of uh, skeletal undead that we really, really want to do extra damage to. Not that I, you know, equipped any of these items when we actually encountered them before, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, was there anything else that I was going to sell? You actually have some bolts. Um, oh, do you have anything in the... Uh, oh, Lex's ring. I guess I'll hold on to it for now. Sell all of that. Nope. Good with those potions. Pick up any potions that I want to sell? Nah, I don't think so. I think we're pretty much good. Oh, you know what? I picked up a, a scroll that I think I need to identify. Didn't I? Huh. I could have sworn I did. Maybe it didn't like me uh, having a an unidentified scroll put in here. I thought it was like a protection from petrification or something like that. Or 
Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. It is done. Hello, do you, do you have anything to say? For that, I thank you. Nope. Alright. Okay. Let's get on out of here. Okay, up Certainly. here we go. Ooh, there's something to invest <clears throat> investigate there. <coughs> mm, sorry. All right, let's double check. Um. Yeah, no, I I do not see that uh, <coughs> that scroll. Maybe Whatever that was a. Like. Uh, maybe that was a scroll that Khalid had on him, and that's why I, I don't have it, because Khalid didn't die. Any stuff that I did not pick up? Other than arrows? Does not look like it. Well, I'm glad you guys have uh, cleared up all the corpses. That's very nice of you guys to do. It is done. Alright, so we've got an old well here. A wooden bucket swings from a rope tied around the old well's winch. Uh, throw in one gold piece. Wooden bucket sways in the breeze. 25 gold pieces. It's huh. not great. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. Put an item in. Hmm. That I'm not sure of. Um, let's quick save, and we'll find out if we can come back. If not... Right. I may need to do a little bit of uh, testing. That was odd. What is that sound effect? Okay, as I expected. Yes. The bear is evil. Not too far. <laughs> it's running away. You're not getting far. Mm, so good. It is done. All right. Well, we've taken care of the bear. Right. Another threat to the establishment resolved. A mammoth statue of Sirik stands at the north end of Borskir Bridge. His arm is outstretched, reaching for the uh, giant stone figure that glares accusingly at him from the bridge's southern side. Oh, did I miss that? Oh yeah, I did. Uh, this towering statue of Baal, the dead... Lord of Murder glares across the length of Borskir Bridge at an equally imposing stone likeness of Sirik, the mad god that killed him. Except he wasn't a god, nor was he mad at the time. Alright, so what do we have? Um, failed phylactery? Um... Bunch of broken armor. Gold bust. Spider egg? A 
That's a quick save. Indeed. Okay. Oh, that's why it probably popped back up. How do I how do I use this? So does is this supposed to come back up to me? What do I have that I might be able to put in? Um I mean gems, but I don't have many of those left. Um I mean I sold most of them. Uh hmm. I think I'm going to look something up. Open up the uh, bag of holding just to look through what I have. I mean, being healed is pretty nice, but... What, what do you use this... Uh well, four. Hmm. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, I guess I can put these back in. Maybe it's just one item that goes in? Now let's put the, uh, the body in. I may have to look this up and when we uh, well let's let's go ahead and just leave uh, I, I did save it we'll find out if we can come back here if we can't come back here then I don't know we we'll kind of suck um, 336 hours seriously Signs of the Crusade's recent presence can be seen on the road to Dragonspear Castle, but the Shining Lady's actual servants are rarely encountered. The few Crusaders you spy in the distance invariably retreat at the first opportunity. As the march wears on, fatigue grips your company. Tempers flare within the caravan. Your reputation as the hero of Baldur's Gate protects you from petty squabbles and angry outbursts, or perhaps, after what happened on Boriskir Bridge, there is another reason few are willing to cross you. These thoughts are put aside when you see Animal the banners so. of Waterdeep, Daggerford, and the Flaming Fist at the edge of the Coalition siege camp. Dragonspear Castle is near, and so is Kalar's Day of Reckoning. Yay! I like Days of Reckoning. Yeah, with 336 hours, I imagine that I am not going to be able to uh, get back there. Why does she still refuse me? How can she deny the righteousness of our cause? I don't we know. speak of a child of Baal. 
And yet the Ballspawn is the hero of Baldur's Gate, and by all accounts saved the Sword Coast from ruin during the Iron Crisis. You cannot ask me to show mercy to this abomination. Not after what happened to my brother. For the good of the Crusade, you must. We cannot take the Ballspawn's life. Forgive me, my lady. I do not know if I can do that. You can. I have faith in you, Ashatil. For us, forgiveness must prevail over revenge. Hmm. <laughs> um. Hmm. That was odd. Okay. Captain Corwin, good to see you. Hello. Who are you? And you, Marshal Netterlock. Who are you? And this must be the so-called hero of Baldur's Gate I've heard so much about. So-called? And you must be one of those heroes of Baldur's Gate I've heard so much about lately. Uh, the Grand Dukes have accorded me that honor. Given the sacrifices all the people of Baldur's Gate made during the Iron Crisis, I'm not completely comfortable with it. That's what they call me. Well, the nice ones call me at any rate. Where's Kalar? I would see this matter finish. I, I like this one. To your face and... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean I'm to you'll bump not the find keyboard. A warm reception here. Word of what happened at Boriskir Bridge is getting around. Many, too many, see you as Saravok's heir apparent. Oh, don't worry about it. Jeez. I look forward to proving them wrong. Of course they do. Why would they? I only risked my life to save the Sword Coast from his uh, diabolical machinations. What they believe is of no consequence, but if they raise a hand against me, may the gods have mercy on them. I won't. Yeah, of course they do. Why wouldn't they? If anyone gives you trouble, report it to me. I'll take care of it. Okay, thank you. Go get settled in now. When you're ready, come see me and the other commanders at the large tent south of here. Alrighty. We'll do that. Thank you, sir. All right, so I am guessing that I am not going to be able to Certainly. get back there. Yeah, destination unreachable. All right, so we can't actually go anywhere right now. Um, so, yes, uh, I think that uh, we are going to... Pro I'm probably going to reload. I'm going to go look to look up to see what you need to put in there. Um, but it's not critical right now. Uh, I'll Whatever you like. do it in between episodes kind of thing. Really? I'll take that. Certainly. Mortavian soldiers. Who are you? Oh! Who goes there? That's just me, Elmandretta. Aren't you supposed to say that to people outside the barricade? I'm gonna go with that one. Ah, uh, sorry! <laughs> A little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm, uh, I'm not in the best shape right now. You look to me like someone dealing with more than a hangover. Is something wrong? Aye, but I don't want to waste your time with my sorrows. I, I know you're an important person. Ah, you can tell me. I like to make time for the ordinary people in my important life. What's your trouble? <laughs> it's... Ah, this is gonna sound so, so... Ah, hells. It's me lucky charm. Are they always after a your lucky charms? From Mithril Hall. I lost it somewhere on the march here. Okay. Oh, I've had the most terrible luck since I realized it was gone. I lost it, cards. Spilled a full mug of ale in my beard. Probably die in battle now, the way things are going. Slow down there. It's skill that sees you through battle, not luck. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's just so... Wait. The other thing that went wrong is I got a hole in one of my boots. My patron god is Martha Merduin. His symbol is a boot with a mace against it. Maybe if I get some fancy new boots, my luck will change back. That's eh, a bit of a stretch, but I'll go with it. I'm telling you, this'll do it. I just need some good leather, and then maybe that quartermaster, Belagarm, will order some made for me. Could you help me out? I heard a bear's been sighted around Dead Man's Pass, but I can't leave my post. Bring the bear's hide to Belagarm and get me some new boots. If it will make you feel better, I'll get you the boots. 
I know you're an important person with lots of things to do, but if you manage this, you'll have a loyal friend forever. No, I do like having loyal friends forever. Besties! We can be besties! Uh, any other named people around that I can talk to? Uh, Wizab? Okay, I guess we'll talk to you. Your acquaintance I am glad to have made. Uh, let's see what you have. I guess you, uh, sell stuff. You look as though you might be interested in some of my special wares. They're quite out of the ordinary. Very difficult to obtain. Oh, those do, do sound interesting. What do you have? Sadly, I have only a few minor items in stock right now. I sell mundane items, crusaders, misplaced as mementos for our own soldiers. There are items I want to get my hands on, but they're proving difficult to obtain. Everyone says you can do the impossible. Well, that's accurate, especially with cheat codes. I mean, uh, interested in making a quick, some quick coin? Absolutely. What are you looking for? Look at you getting into the spirit of things. This should be fun. Oh, come on, Safana. All right, to be fair, you didn't come with me last time. A ring, a battle standard, a token of faith, a map, and a holy symbol. Tell me about the ring. A crusader named Dreon wears a signet ring stamped with Kalar's seal. He's notoriously hard to talk to, but maybe you can figure out a way. Okay, uh, any particular battle standard? One of the chests in camp reportedly holds a stack of crusade battle standards. I only need one. Too many will devalue their worth. Okay. Uh, what's this token of faith? Some new crusaders have taken to making coins into charms as a show of their faith in the Shining Lady. One of them must carry such an item around. Okay. And any map? If it were any map, I could get it myself. What I want is a map that charts the crusade's progress along the Sword Coast, annotated by Kalar herself. It hangs somewhere in the Crusader camp. Seriously? Seriously. Alright, a holy symbol different from uh, the token of faith? Indeed, it's a symbol of the Red Knight. Looks like a knight chess piece, but with rubies for eyes. One of the Crusade's clerics wears it. Okay. Okay. Soon to go back to the grotto, I am. I miss the tunnels of home. Ah, you're probably a halfling then. Uh, let's see. Bushwhacker plus two. Renders the target unconscious for two rounds when a backstab is performed. Short sword plus two. Scimitar plus two. Uh, don't know katana's plus two. Interesting. Ooh, composite longbow plus two. Arrows of biting, arrows of anti-magic, arrows of dispelling, arrows of detonation, light crossbow plus one plus two, arrows of uh, bolts of biting, a sling plus two. Might consider that. Sunstone bullet. Plus one to hit, plus two damage, uh, no, it's plus one damage, plus two fire damage. Uh, magical currents are embedded inside this bullet so that it, it seems a little more balanced and lighter as it jumps towards an opponent. When the bullet strikes an opponent, it explodes in a flash of fire. I'll get one of those. One stack of those. Poisoned Throwing Dagger. The Knight's Embrace, um, a thief from Erebor who favored being captured, uh, who feared being cap favored, feared being captured by the city guard, was known to have favored this armor. She designed the suit so that it, if she were ever incapacitated in any way, she would be rendered temporarily invisible. The armor did its job, and the thief had a long and successful career in the city. When she retired, she gifted the armor to her younger brother, and it has changed hands many times since then. Hide in Shadows was 20%. The wearer is rendered helpless. Uh, she becomes invisible for one turn. May check that out. Raconteur's Regalia. Spellcasting is not disabled, huh? When the half-elven bard uh, Belares left home... Uh, left his home in Evereska, his musical tutor gave him the suit of armor as a parting gift. The brightly colored armor looks stylish as it protects... Brightly colored, really? Though it wasn't able to keep its original owner from falling prey to hill giants on his travels. On the breastplate of the armor appears a stylized golden heart, a mark of respect to Hanali Selenil. When Belares died, a scar appeared on the golden heart that persists to this day. Uh, 
So it must be studded leather armor. Buckler plus one, buckler plus two. A ring of danger sense. Find traps plus 25%. Nizuf's maze was a grand hedge maze created by the archmage uh, Nizuf for his amusement. The maze boasted hundreds of magical traps, most of them extremely lethal. Nizuf posted a reward big enough to buy a kingdom to the man or woman brave enough to enter the maze and reach its core. Thousands tried and died. But one Oteg Verm completed the maze thanks mainly to, his, to this ring, which let him see where the traps were hidden. Headband of focus. Um... Drop on Holy Might once per day, usable by monks. Uh, belt of the Skillful Blade. The blacksmith in Cormier is responsible for designing this item. Cyan Keenedge was renowned for designing the sharpest, best balanced, most beautiful blades in the country. She was also a bit of a hothead and grew furious when she saw less skilled f fighters wielding her weapons. For her finest work, she handed out one of these belts free with, a pur with purchase in order that her weapons never be mishandled. Wow, really? Plus two bonus with the offhand. Blades and swashbucklers only. 10% uh, bonus to slashing damage. Worn whispers. Soft feet. These boots were crafted by a young mage who wished to be trained as a shadow dancer, but was turned away for being too loud when he walked. A shadow dancer weaves between the shadows and makes no sound, they said. You move like an elephant climbing a tree. Undeterred, the mage crafted a set of boots that caused his feet to become insubstantial, allowing him to walk with quiet confidence and avoid stepping on nasty substances. Unity to grease and tangle and web. And screaming bagpipes. This deep purple set of bagpipes has an odd furry texture to it. On closer examination, the bagpipes appear to have been made from the hide of some tentacled creature. Yeah, like, uh, oh, I don't know, perhaps a Displacer Beast? Uh, with each of its furry purple tentacles becoming one of the instrument's pipes. Oh, well, okay. I guess that's a few more tentacles than a Displacer Beast would have. When played, the bagpipe growls and screeches like a creature in pain. Sound burst twice per day. Uh, 46 damage uh, for Jesters, 2d8 uh, if others use it. Save versus breath halves. Deafens for three rounds. 30 feet around the bard. Usable only by bards. Um, I don't know that anything is really jumping out at me as uh, being something that I really want. Uh, well, okay, the composite uh, longbows plus two. Definitely want those. Otherwise, I don't think there's really anything. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and call this an episode here. When we come back, um, I am actually going to uh, see what you can do with the well and, you know, what, what item you can put in it to get something. It's entirely possible that I don't have the items yet, or at all. I never got them or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. See you next time, everyone.